All right, YouTube 106 Falconer. I'm uh, going to try a fun little project here today um, since we're on coronavirus lockdown. Get a uh, DeWalt 7 and a quarter inch 20 volt miter saw. Um, comes without the battery. So I have my, uh, my Makita 1.5 milliamp 18 volt battery. I bought uh, a cheap uh, adapter. I'm going to put it on there and I want to see how much this will cut with a 1.5 milliamp battery. Um, I don't want to buy DeWalt batteries because I like Makita stuff, but I didn't want to pay the price for a Makita, the Makita miter saw. <laughs> it was way expensive. So anyways, I got here like uh, two and a half boxes of this oak plywood flooring got a piece of four by four a couple chunks of two by sixes uh some random pieces of two by four so let's see how much we can go get through with just a one and a half milliamp makita battery with this setup here let's see. camera here doop -ba doop -ba doop I had to go with a lighter weight saw because my uh, my Hitachi here, freaking awesome saw, but I'm, my old ass is too weak to get it upstairs anymore, so, and I got to start working upstairs. So, all right, can we see everything? Good enough. Pop this in. I'm going to fire up the vacuum so you won't hear my awesome narrations. So, basically one cut out of there with the, I mean, that's an old ass battery too. That's, uh, I've had that battery over 10 years. So let me try this cheapy knockoff DeWalt battery. This is a five, five milliamp, 20 volt. Let's see what this one does. This two by six is a lot for this saw to handle, uh, which is all right because I'm just going to be using it primarily for molding and uh, flooring. So. I got to tell you that uh, laser cut line that comes down in there, that freaking thing is sweet. this flooring. I'm going to uh, make a couple cuts. Try the uh, my other. I don't know 
know if that's a laser line or if it's a shadow thrown by the by the uh, light here. I think that's probably what it is. You got that light there, and that throws a throws a shadow down. Let me show you here. It's pretty freaking nice. See how you get that that line. Bam. All right, so let me uh, let me try the. Uh, I'm gonna use that one that I just killed trying to trying to do a two by eight. Let's see what that does. I forgot to turn my vacuum on before. I do have another 1.5 milliamp. This is uh, an original battery that came with my with my driver and impact. Got got the impact and the half inch drill with the two batteries for uh, Christ. It was like some ridiculous. It was like ninety nine dollars. Home Depot had them or something like that. All right. Now this this Makita battery in here, I have uh, um, ran a few screws with it, so it's got a little juice out of it. <laughs> it's an old battery so you see you don't want to uh, use a uh, come on how the fuck are you <laughs> get the battery out of this thing all right you don't want to use a one and a half milliamp battery I got to get new batteries for it anyway so I'll probably go with a four milliamp there's enough room with the adapter to run a five on there but uh, I'm pretty sure, but if I go with four, they're cheaper. like a champ I mean you can definitely tell the, the difference in the torque you know he, even when that uh, Makita was fresh so yeah I gotta get new batteries for that driver so I'll, I'll try the four milliamp and we'll see if it's any better all right well that's it we didn't get too much did we see ya Betches.